Welcome back, America. I have a dear friend, a great patriot, one of the greatest friends Israel has, Pastor John Hagee, founder and chairman of Christians United for Israel, senior pastor at Cornerstone Church, San Antonio, Texas. You know, Pastor, you don't really need an introduction. But there, I gave you one. I want to get right down to business here. You're a All leading right. evangelical Christian voice in the United States of America. You have millions of people who follow you. You have a, a huge church. And uh, my question to you is this. Is this war that's taking place against Israel and the Jews, is it a war that all Americans should be very, very concerned about? Absolutely, America should be concerned about it. One, because if democracy in the Middle East is destroyed, it gives all of the enemies of democracy a capacity to destroy the democracy in this country. I think there's something that the American people need to think about, that Iran was the mastermind behind this, this war. And Hamas were the ground troops. They, are, they call us the great Satan and Israel the little Satan. What is to stop Iran, those masterminds who planned that, from planning a similar plan for the United States of America and using the people who have come across our southern borders for a similar event to happen in this nation, because China, with its uh, spy blimp that they sent over the United States for seven days, certainly knows where all of our military equipment and machinery and rockets and bases are. This nation, the United States of America, is wide open for the same thing that Israel experienced, and believe me, they hate us to the core and would be delighted to do it. Pastor, let me ask you this. There's a lot of talk about um, the Jewish people occupying Jerusalem, occupying uh, Judea and Samaria, occupying this entire area, which uh, the enemies of Israel say belong to Arabs and Palestinians and so forth and so on. Just a short history uh, about Judaism and Christianity, and what would happen to these sites if Israel ceased to exist or Israel wasn't there to protect them? Those sites would disappear. Those sites would disappear. The idea that this, is, this land does not belong to Israel is simply a concoction of people who are surrendering to an ideology that's completely false. The fact is there is a God, and that God is a creator, and that God in Genesis 1 and 1 created the heavens and the earth. Since he created the heavens and the earth, he is the owner, and as owner he has rights, and he as owner has given to the Jewish people, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, their uh, covenant with them that they should own this land forever. That covenant is recorded in the Bible more than 20 times, and it remains their property to this day. That covenant with God has never been broken, and it still stands. The people who are saying the land does not belong to Israel do not believe in the God of heaven, and they do not believe the Bible as the word of God. You've been to Israel more times than I can count. You go there at least once a year, often two times a year. You have visited these ancient sites that date up to 4,000 years and so forth. You have seen with your own two eyes and you've touched with your own two hands places in Jerusalem, the city of David, other places throughout the country of Israel, places mentioned in the Bible about Jews and Christians and who was where and when they were there, this is real. Is it not, Pastor? Absolutely. Jesus Christ himself said, if men will not praise me, the very rocks will cry out and recognize me. The fact is that every few days, archaeologists in Israel are digging up uh, memorabilia 
of treasures that are thousands of years in age written in Hebrew with the name of Hebrew rulers on those documents as proof positive that thousands of years ago, the seed of Abraham occupied this territory. And it's interesting that the Palestinian Authority does not want those archaeologists doing those things. And they say that they are, they are destroying the, the foundations of Palestinian homes around the area, and they're demanding that they stop. Isn't the real reason that they're demanding that they stop, isn't the real reason all this propaganda in the United States and throughout the Middle East is about the Jews being the occupants, is so they can simply try to Americanize or Westernize their goal of exterminating the Jews? That would be, that would be absolutely true. Uh, there is no such thing as a two-state solution. Hamas worships death. We have seen that in these past few days in a pattern that is the most vicious thing that humanity has seen since the Holocaust. They worship death. The Jewish people are are people who pursue life. They pursue life. Life and death, they are polar opposites, and there will never be reconciliation between radical Islam and Judaism. God gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob a written contract and covenant in the Word of God many times for those who are slow to get the message that this land belongs to the seed of Abraham forever and forever. End of story. Pastor, when we come back... You have founded and you're chairman of a group called Christians United for Israel, um, which doesn't get the attention that it deserves. You have millions of people who support this effort. And when we come back, I want you to tell us exactly what that's all about. We'll be right back. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.